Good morning, uh, my dear students. Welcome to Ashtak channel. Today, we will see one more experiment uh, related to microprocessor and microcontrol lab of uh, four semester CSA and ISA of UTU syllabus uh, using uh, ARM controller. So, if you see your syllabus, uh, so in your syllabus in part A, in your syllabus in your part A, you can see sixth experiment uh, that is to write and simulate ARM assembly language program for data transfer, arithmetic and logical operation demonstrated with the help of suitable program that one and the seventh experiment to write and simulate C program for ARM microprocessor using Keel and demonstrate with the help of uh, suitable C programs. That is the two software experiment uh, that you study related to ARM. Rest of the experiment here are related to 8086. Like in part B also, 7 to 11 experiment is related to hardware, uh, hardware of uh, 8086 uh, and uh, you can see here uh, 12th and 13th experiment uh, hardware related to ARM controller, we have to use ARM controller LPC2148 and we have to implement this one. So today we will see software experiment. Before proceeding to, before proceeding to the ARM experiment directly, uh, we will see a couple of points what is required here. Now what is ARM stands for? ARM stands for advanced risk machine. It is a modern generation processor, it is an advanced risk machine, the name itself uh, risk. Reduce instruction set computer or computing. So that makes uh, ARM a powerful processor. The what are the qualities of the ARM is like uh, almost all instructions are 32-bit uh, instruction and I am talking with respect to ARM 7, it has 32-bit instruction and 32-bit data bus and 32-bit bit, uh, address bus. So almost all instructions will be executed in uh, one cycle in ARM. That's why ARM processor will give uh, much uh, uh, performance, greater performance compared to our CISC processor what we use in uh, uh, Intel family. So, RISC processor are designed to perform, you can see here, RISC processor are designed to perform smaller number of type of computer instruction because of ARM modern generation processor today we are able to use our smartphone tablet multimedia players and other mobile device and because of the reduced instruction set uh, it requires a uh, few transistor which enables the enables a smaller die size for the integrated circuits so what are the other features of the arm all these features we will discuss uh, when i upload uh, the video related to arm theory so arm processor has got following features still one is load and store architecture. Load and store architecture, very, very important features of ARM because oh, ARM contains uh, so many registers. Uh, around 37 registers are available in ARM. That's why in ARM, uh, most of the operation will be carried out in the register only. Only we are using memory instruction that is load and store. Only two instructions we are using to access the memory. But the rest of the instructions are executed in uh, registers only. <coughs> and you see when you use register, your performance will definitely improve because accessing the memory will take time rather than register because register is internal to the processor. We know this, this concept. Clear my, my dear students? Now other than that, you, you can see here mostly single cycle execution, enhanced power saving design makes use of this one is uh, uh, you, the makes use of this processor uh, well used in uh, uh, this one uh, mobile phone and other device and uh, 64 and 32 bit inst uh, 32 bit instructions uh, all these are uh, support of ARM. Now what is ARM processor? Is it a microcontroller or microprocessor? So first you have to remember here uh, my dear students you can see here uh, let me magnify this one. So you can see here, uh, ARM is a processor or microcontroller, ARM is a company 
who license CPU cores that you remember ARM cores can be used by lots of uh, companies to make both microcontroller and a uh, microprocessor ARM core is uh, for both microprocessor and a uh, microcontroller so that one you have to remember so we in this our syllabus uh, we study ARM 7 is a old processor of 32 bit risk processor and there are different version of ARM 7 say ARM 700 ARM 710 ARM 70i ARM 71a all these are the different types of processors and uh, in the lab we use uh, <coughs> lab lab kit uh, that is uh, LPC2148 uh, embedded system based on ARM7 you can see here ARM processor and it is a LPC2148 this LPC2148 is founded by NXP uh, sorry NXP founded by developed by NXP founded by L, uh, Philips so what is NXP NXP is a semiconductor formerly Philips semiconductor as a deep and diverse history in uh, Silicon Valley so in uh, 1993 Earlier it was called as Philips, then later in the 2006 onwards, uh, Philips sold this company to NXP. So NXP is based, based in uh, Netherlands uh, and uh, right now around uh, the company employs approximately 31,000 uh, employees, uh, more than in 34, 35 countries, uh, including 11,200 engineers in 33 countries. So now architecture of when you see the architecture of ARM once again the ARM architecture I will try to cover in theory session for time being you try to remember ARM makes use of 37 registers out of that you can see here uh, around 16 registers are uh, visible registers R0 to R15 16 registers are visible registers uh, because of this one uh, ARM gives greater performance so ARM ARM characteristics is uh, ARM is uh, rigid character that means it works on register uh, it works on only on register most of the time so but our uh, 8086 uh, or our intel family sysc architecture is a flexible architecture so when you see the flexible architecture you cannot expect that type of performance uh, but when you see the rigid architecture uh, you see you will get the performance so that is the difference between ARM architecture and uh, CISC architecture. Other than that, uh, we have something called as uh, the software we use here is the Keel software. Keel. What is a Keel? Keel provides a broad range of development tools like C compiler, micro assembler, debugger and simulator, linkers, ID library for development of uh, uh, programs based on ARM7. So, Keel, uh, Keel MDK 5.27 is the latest version. So you can say Keel includes all components uh, that you need uh, to create, build and debug uh, embedded application. So Keel software is, uh, Keel software is uh, needed to create, build and debug uh, embedded application. So other than that, uh, we use so one more software we use that is flash magic so flash magic is a pc tool for programming a flash based microcontroller from nxp using a serial or ethernet protocol while in the target hardware that means uh, uh, to transfer your program from your pc to flash rom on uh, uh, a microcontroller or to the microcontroller we use flash magic uh, a tool pc tool so it works by using certain protocol the name of the protocol is the serial or ethernet protocol so all these things uh, you have to remember uh, before we continue about uh, arm then now we will directly see kill version 4 kill version 4 is the software we use kill micro version 4 is the software we use when you click on kill version 4 Suppose if any project window is open, you have to first uh, close the project. So let me close the project here. First, uh, close the project. So now, now you can see here blank windows, blank windows. One is a project window, and this side you can see this is uh, this is gray. I mean uh, gray colored. This one is a code window and other windows. So. Uh, 
to start the project uh, you have to click on project and uh, click on new micro vision project when you click on new micro vision proje project uh, give the project name let us give the project name here now test test 2 3 something like this or uh, i will give the project name test uh, uh, 35 then save it that time it will pop up you to select the microcontroller as i said uh, you will select uh, nxp founded by philips double click here you can see varieties of uh, microcontroller under nxp here we use uh, lpc2148 when you click on lpc2148 and uh, you will see the description of the controller uh, so let me show you the description of the controller it is a arm uh, 7 tdm uh, i performance 32 bit risk microcontroller with the 512 KB on chip flash ROM with the system programming and uh, other uh, this one no? and 10 bit ADC with the 14 channels USB 2.2 full speed device controller then uh, it has got two UART uh, with the uh, two UART one full uh, modem interface then uh, it has got 12 C serial interface all these uh, all these information uh, you can see here uh, uh, on this one. Uh, LPC2148 uh, this is the controller we are using click on ok that time it will pop up you to copy the startup code actually startup code is required uh, when you execute uh, uh, program that is written in uh, C language for time being we are writing the program in uh, uh, assembly language so startup is not required here so let me click here no startup is required you can see here now target is created so target is created so under this one uh, when you expand this one uh, when you expand this one under target we have one group is there source group is there so my next option is uh, i have to create the file under the source group so click on uh, file new file this is the coding window where I am going to write the code for my microcontroller ARM7. So please remember in ARM7 when you write the code, it should start with the, all lines should start with the air. For assembly language, all lines should start with the tab. So let me click give one tab and I will write the code here TTL. TTL means uh, title. TTL. TTL. TTL program for a d d i t i o n edition program for edition next line area for time being let me say area is equal to like a segment in your uh, 8086 so area followed by area name i will give the name or label for area that is program and uh, which will hold code and that code is uh, stored in a read only memory read only memory sorry area program comma space code comma space read only my next line is uh, move i want to take two values and i want to add two values so move R0 R0 comma ash R0 shift of ash 0x05 here any number preceded by ash indicates that is the data to the data and that is moved to r0 and x indicates is the hexadecimal data the second line move r1 comma once again ash 0x05 sorry 06 let me take 06 then i want to add these two numbers add and i want to show the result in r2 
comma R0 comma R1. What is the meaning of this one? The meaning of this one is, uh, let me write here comment, uh, that is meaning of this one is, uh, R2 is nothing but uh, R1 plus uh, R0, that is the meaning. Then followed by, followed by LBL. So, this statement, uh, this statement uh, we will not give the tab for this statement. So, here LBL means it is an unconditional uh, branching. So, here branch instruction is executed and it will jump to L. I mean label L. Uh, label L is here itself. Uh, once again it will come here and it will ex execute this instruction uh, indefinitely. And uh, followed with the last statement uh, end. So, this is the this is the small program for uh, adding two numbers uh, in uh, our ARM7 by using uh, Keel version 4. After this, uh, save the program. So, let me save the program. When you save the program, uh, I will give the number here uh, like uh, add is add is uh, dot asm assembly language program save it once you done the saving of this program you can see here the saving is done and you can see the various colors also let me magnify so you can see if everything is correct then you can see various color it will be represented register data is represented in various colors so now you have to go to source group you have to go to source group here right click the source group there is an option add files to the group you can see there is an option right click the source group add files to the groups so click on that and select the file to select the file here normally file type is so c file so you have to select asm so we have here asm file select this one add close so now you expand this one source group you can see our file is there once this is done once this is done then we have to compile the program to compile the program my dear students you can see here three options are there here one is uh, one is first one is uh, translate you can see the arrow icon second one is uh, single arrow build third one is rebuild let me click on first icon translate or compile so it's giving uh, one error let me see what is the error here yeah you can see now when you compile it uh, you can you'll see here here in this window there are zero errors and uh, zero warnings next uh, i will build it I will build the program that time I should get a zero errors and a zero warnings after that once again translate zero errors and zero warnings once this is done my dear students uh, now the next step is uh, you have to debug the program so for debugging you have to go to debug start and stop or here one option is there shortcut so click on debug then it will pop up a window and it says like it is evaluation mode and the code size is limited to 32k only you that means you cannot write the program greater than 32k size click on ok so here now you can see it will open various window the first window is called as register window this is the register windows and uh, this is the deassembly window here you can see how your opcode is deassembled and uh, how it is deassembled and how it is converted into uh, uh, exa form i mean um, this one uh, where various binary forms you can see here and third one is this is the window where you have written the program and uh, here our uh, program counter is here now pointing to this uh, this line and this is the command window and this is other window like uh, stack and uh, memory window so let me execute to execute the program my dear students so you can execute it uh, one by one uh, here you can see like uh, for execution uh, you can see this one this the, the, these symbols uh, so click on that one so this is nothing but uh, step by step execution or you can use function key f11 when you click on this one uh, now you can see the file is moved to r0 
when you execute second instruction 6 is moved to R1 when you execute third instruction uh, answer is B you see here answer is uh, B and that is stored in uh, R2 so here you can see DSM window see we write the program like uh, add R2 comma R1 comma R0 it is deassembled and uh, it is converted something like E0, A21, 200. Finally, to your microcontroller, that E0, A21, 200 is sent. It is not like add R2, R1, R0 is sent. That is for our reference. So, therefore, to into the microcontroller, this, this pattern is sent. Is it clear? Okay. So, finally, you can see here. So, when you execute further, it will loop here only. It will loop here only. So, uh, so, this is the execution of this uh, uh, program and here you can see there are various registers are there R0 to R12, R13 is called a stack pointer, we know what is stack pointer, stack pointer is the, uh, this one pointer which point to the top of the stack and it is used as a temporary memory like link register, R14 is a link register, link register holds the return address when interrupt is called, return address of the program when the interrupt is called, R15 is the program counter, you know what is program counter, program counter indicates the next which is the uh, program counter uh, indicates or points to the next instruction to be executed and other than that we have something called as CPSR, CPSR is a uh, flag, uh, flag status register, the current program status register which indicates mainly flags. You can see here uh, various flags are there and the carry flag, flag is very very important uh, when you add uh, during the addition when carry is there then this carry flag becomes 1. During the subtraction when there is a borrow is there then carry flag becomes a 0. This thing you have to remember here. So if you want to edit this program further then first you have to stop this debug, uh, debugging mode. So, stop debugging mode, that will take you to the normal mode, here you can edit the program, after editing uh, you can once again you have to, once again you have to save it, once again you have to save it, so save it, if the saving is done then you can uh, uh, translate it, you can uh, build it, you can rebuild it, then once again you can start uh, debug, so when you start debug then it will open these many windows so let me explain once again register window dsmb window and our program window and other than that uh, command window and memory window what is this memory window so dear students you can see here here different windows you can see symbol window memory window etc so if i click on memory window click on memory one uh, sometimes it will not appear properly once again uh, click on uh, memory window and uh, memory here you can see memory uh, related uh, option uh, like uh, if I click here 0x uh, uh, in my case it is 0 you can see all the memory details here all the memory details here uh, so our first number 5 our second number sorry so all the memory details you can uh, see here this is about, about memory window, I will come, uh, come to this one later. So, so, now to close the program, stop debug, then uh, to close this window, to remove this file from the source group, uh, click on the file, remove. That doesn't mean that you are going to delete the file, no, file will be there. Suppose if you want to add one more program now, add one more program. So. So, in the next session, we will see, this is the introduction session, that's why it took around 25 minutes. In the next session, uh, I will show you the program for subtraction, multiplication, multiplication of long numbers uh, and how we do division uh, in uh, ARM7 and memory related transfer. All these things uh, in the next program, next uh, video, I will uh, explain you. So, I will not write the separate programs, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have only, uh, I have my own programs, I will execute that directly, for time being, uh, thank you, bye.